Hello. Welcome to Dallas. Thank you. Hey, tell me all about yourself. Okay. Uh, all about it. All like, about it. Every detail. How long it is? It's 97 minutes. Okay. I still have battery. Okay, good. Yeah, line by line. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, it starts out and then there's this guy. Okay? And he's in jail. But then he gets out of jail. Hey, you're not describing the jail very correctly. Okay, okay. So in the jail, they wear bright orange suits, and it is a very gray atmosphere, okay? Uh, I'm visualizing it. I'm okay, getting okay. there. Uh, there's uh, a lot of cigarette smoke, a lot of uh, a lot of violent-looking men, um, <laughs> and that goes on for about four minutes. And then he gets out of prison, jail, prison, and uh, and goes on a psychedelic journey. The end. The end. Oh my God, that's an awesome movie. Yes. yes. Tell me, who is to work with Dermot? Dermot Dermot Mulroney. I don't know if I could pronounce. That was yeah, that was it. Yeah. Okay. That's his name. Uh, he's great. Yeah. Um, yeah. Was the, that your question? How? How was it? Get him yeah, this was a strange one because it started as a short film, The Rambler, and I actually played the Rambler. I put on a cowboy hat and the glasses, and I was a guitar Rambler, and uh, and, and it actually was two short films, and they both played here. Um, so when it came to pass that the budget of the feature was going to be big, it turns out I wasn't the marketable talent they were looking for. Oh no! Very quickly, uh, Dermot Mulroney's name was suggested by a mutual friend. And I was like, absolutely, I love that guy. And uh, and then the call was made, and it turns out he's awesome and very easy to work with. Hey, look, if they're going to replace you, and it's by him, he's like, like, I'll totally let Salma Hayek play any of my life. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Or Sofia Vergara. Exactly. Other than that, no. What are you saying? I don't look like Dermot? No, no. <laughs> you think I'm I can't? just saying, like, if you're going to be replaced... Might as well be like, him. Exactly, right? Might as well be Dermot. <laughs> yeah, I agree. So, do you have any fun story that happened on the set? Um, you know, I don't remember any. I wish I did. <laughs> it was, oh my god, I'm afraid to see the movie. <laughs> it was, yeah, you should be afraid of the movie. It is like, a, who knows the director was, was thinking? It was, was the problem. It, it was, was it was a weird movie we made there. Um, it was all fun, but no, uh, it all went really smoothly. So I don't have any disaster stories. I wish I did. I wish I had a big story for this moment to tell to your telephone. <laughs> you know what? You and an artist just, just say one. Just make one up? Yeah, yeah. Be like. Oh, I do have a story, actually. This is a real story. Okay, okay, good. Uh, I forgot it. Sorry. Just kidding. There was this... Uh, <laughs> we have, uh, we have an, an, a part of the movie where there's a, uh, a, a horse, a wild horse, a buck. Uh, uh, not a, a bronco, a bucking bronco, and uh, in this, he's supposed to be wild. But while we were filming it, he actually tamed down in the shot, and he would no longer buck. But the cowboy was smart enough to bring a second horse, so he did. We draw him out. That horse tames down. Also on camera. No, uh. We never got. The, we we did get some good shots, but we never got exactly what we were looking for. There was a, a we, we we couldn't find a wild enough horse in Roswell, New Mexico. Oh my God, that's so funny. Yeah. Well, my last thing, I want to hear you respect. Buenas noches. Ay, muchas gracias. Gracias. Y felicidades. <laughs>